got another question for the amount of substance topic but before we start just need to say that it needs you to know what chiral carbons are so if you haven't done chirality yet or optical isomerism then you're probably not going to um, be able to do the question uh, you will do some of it but not all of it okay so i just wanted to say that before we start um, I hope you like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So obviously the first thing we need to do is use the ideal gas equation, which I'm assuming everybody is able to do. So we'll do that bit first, and then we'll look into what the um, possible formula could be or structure. So to get the molar mass of compound X, we're going to need to find the moles. So there's the rearranged um, ideal gas equation for moles. So we'll just put the numbers in now. So the pressure can stay as it is because it's in pascals. The volume was given in cubic centimetres. I just put times 10 to the minus 6 after whatever the number is. And that puts it into cubic metres. Obviously 8.314 for the gas constant. And the temperature needs to be in Kelvin they have given it in degrees C, so 303 Kelvin. In terms of moles then, we're getting 7.9 times 10 to the minus three. So all we need to do now is get the MR, so it's just the mass, the 1.327 grams over those moles. So that's coming out at 168 for the MR. So if we focus on the molecular formula now, so we were told it was CXHYF6O, you can see I've highlighted the known part so all we're going to do is subtract the MR of 6Fs and an O um, from the 168 and then we're going to work out what the X and Y are for the carbon and the hydrogen. So subtracting 130 from the 168 gives us 38 for the CXHY. So we must have three carbons and two hydrogens. So moving on to the structure for compound X, obviously we're told that it has to have a COC functional group it's also got cf as well but it's got a chiral carbon so what i'm going to do is make this the chiral carbon so that means we've got to have four different atoms or groups attached to that so i'm going to start by bonding an f and an h to the chiral carbon remember there's three carbons in this thing so if we make another carbon be attached to that and then basically all we need to do is just fill up the atoms that we haven't used yet. So one way to do it is that. And the other way to do it is just to swap these two groups around. So that's all I've done there. And you get that. 